Hello everyone and welcome to episode 35 of Let's Play Fear First Insult. First Insult. First That's Encounter so Assault Recon. We are playing the PC version of the game. As always with me is my host, Dalton. Say hello. Hello. I bet we're going to reach episode 40 this time. Yeah, it's getting there at this point. Yeah, we are deep into this shit. About halfway, a little over halfway. Uh, Pretty lengthy game. Yeah, it's a lengthy game. So you guys, first, we have a, quite a few things I want to talk about. But first things first, you will notice a bump in the audio and video quality of our videos starting with this very first one, an episode of Let's Play Fear. And that is because I got new monitors. So, um, we, we ordered 24-inch... Uh, 60 hertz 1440p monitors for the office. And they came in and we spent uh, all day in the office cleaning up everything in here. We Seriously, we spent about 12 hours working on this and getting everything set up and put together and got it all working. And then as soon as I restarted my PC, uh, the uh, switch box quit working. So, okay, let me explain this. We, we have a stupidly complex setup because we have seven computers in the office, three of which are mine. You still there? Yep. In the stream, I was, I was watching those enemies. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to remember how to turn on slow mo. I don't remember. <laughs> the control or something? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it is. Okay. How big were your previous monitors? Uh, I think they were 21, 22, something like that. So these are uh, slightly bigger. And was it like 18, uh, 1080p, 60 hertz? Yeah, 1080p, 60 hertz. So we're moving up in resolution. Hello! I am so glad that I did not use... He's a, a yeah, path. really. He's other truth. So we got 1440p, 60 hertz monitors, which I, I don't mind them being 60 hertz. I mean, we found a 60 hertz switch box that goes all the way up to 4K. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, and the, anyway, the way we have this set up is we have the main switch box, which is the KVM switch, which if you don't know what that is, keyboard, video, mouse. It carries all three and connects all three to a bunch of computers. In this case, it has, it's a four-port KVM, so it does four computers at the same time. Hello, Armor. I need that. Yeah. So we have uh, three computers hooked up to it. My main one. Oh shit! They're they're over there. We got my main one. My dad's one that we built. And if you are interested, we did a video of the build process of that particular PC. You guys can give that a watch. It's on the channel. I think I've talked about it in the past. Uh, that was the first time I've ever used more than one camera at a time to, P to shoot a video. So you get 
two distinct camera angles. And Pretty two, cool. Yeah. And it it worked pretty well. Uh, I think it's a pretty good video. Yeah. A little more editing involved, but it probably pays off. Yeah. I think the video was better as a result of it. Yeah. So. Then we have the second monitor. Who are you? Is that Alice? So we have the second monitor hooked up to a a four port just just a video switch. I can't turn on my flashlight. Is that all juice? I don't know. Now I can. I guess it was just. I, I guess it was just for that like certain part of the game. So that's how we have. Uh, oh, hello. Yeah, and yeah, we do. How are you doing, Dave? So that's how we have those three hooked up. And we've got um, both my PC and his PC. The the uh, thing only has two... Um, a one HDMI port on it. So I had to get like display ports. Oh yeah. To hook up the other monitors. Display port to HDMI because uh, the, the other option, the option we originally went with was uh, DVI and DVI doesn't go up to 1440p. So yeah, that's true. We weren't able to. We thought we originally thought we would do it that way, and then we weren't able to get a full 1440p out of that. Because yeah, I use DP for my setup, probably 1440p. Yeah. I guess it's I have a 144 hertz display. Yeah, ours is 60, but I I I mean 60 fps is fine. You know. Yeah, Honestly, that's like good enough. Honestly, it still looks really good. I've not heard of that, Dave. Uh, and I'm I'm doing fine. What's going on, man? We we have someone that joined us in the chat. Yeah. Um. Then to then but then to get the other PCs hooked up, we have a um, uh, a switch box wired into. A KVM switch wired into the uh, four, port four of this one, and my 486 and other things are plugged into that KVM switch. So it's like this stupidly complex setup, I, but it works. And for some reason, it quit working. Right, it quit working at first, and I don't know why. How long did that take you to figure out? Uh, well, I spent hours trying to figure out what was wrong, why it wasn't displaying, why it was only displaying on one monitor, right? Um, yeah. And I eventually gave up after working on it for about two to three hours. And just plugged my PC directly into it. Then the next day, I went back to it, and I, I didn't mess with it right away. Please. 
Please tell me this isn't what I think it is. I just sat down and watched some videos because I did not feel like messing with it some more. And then the very first thing I tried the next day was literally unplug everything from the main KVM switch and plug it all back in. And for whatever fucking reason, that got it all working, and now I can display all my games in 1440p. Which is what you're seeing here with this recording. What the fuck is this TV plugged into? Yeah, for us, like, in Condemned, it's the same thing. It just showed all my... <laughs> you come across these random-ass fucking TVs. Plugged into no like nothing. Yeah, that's just a TV in an alleyway. But, th yeah, this means that we will get a boost in video uh, production quality for my channel, so you guys can be excited for that. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Yeah, it should look better. I, I did upload some test footage for you guys to check out on the Gameplay channel. If you guys want to see me do uh, play a little bit of Blood Fresh Supply, which is the remaster from Night Dive Studios. Great game. Or if you want to see me play the original Call of Duty in a much higher resolution than it was ever meant to run at. Then you guys can go see that on my gameplay channel. I posted both of those like the, yesterday and the day before, I think. I like the way that fire looks. It might be flickering a little yeah. too quickly, but I like the, the the way it like casts shadows and light on the walls. Yeah, it's pretty cool, like, especially for the time. Yeah. Watch, almost gonna pop up. You see her? It's kind of similar, like, situations in Condemned. Yeah, I, I, like I beat that game. It's been a long time since I played Condemned, though. I've got the Xbox 360 version of it. Yeah, it's a great game. It's pretty underrated, in my opinion. It has uh, two games in the series, and the second game ends on the cliffhanger. Yeah, I heard the second one wasn't as well liked, though. It wasn't, yeah. I mean, it, it fixed some of the issues you had with the game. Like, you, you can actually hold the block button in that game, and you can just block the whole, like, the whole time. But other than that, I, I guess, it, like, the first one just, was just more memorable, in general. We got a better story and everything. The second one's still a great game, but the first one just holds up better. Yeah. So, beyond that, I have started working on the Halo Reach review. The All of the gameplay I need is up on the gameplay channel, and I have started taking notes on it. So you guys can get excited for that, because it's coming, slowly but surely. Just give me some time on those on that because those do take a while. Yeah. Beyond that, uh, as far as personal news, uh, my birthday happened b between recordings. Uh, there was an episode I mentioned it in the description, but the. There was an episode, I think it was the last one we recorded, that went up on my birthday. So you guys can... So you guys can know exactly what... But it's the 9th. That's my birthday. It was the 9th. Yeah. And 
what did I get on my... Let's see. I got a 4K camera, which is cool. So, and it's like a Chinese, like, low-end, not incredibly high-dollar camera. But I, op- I uploaded cool. a little bit of test footage, if you guys are curious about that. Onto... my uh, FS Metal channel so you guys can give that a watch. I think I saw a guy. Fuck. No, I didn't. Okay. That's seven of those. I have eight of those. Fuck. Okay. Uh, beyond that, I got um, what else did I get? Oh, a new pair of headphones. It's a, those are Marsh Ma- Marshall Majors Mark Three. And if you like rock and metal, boy, do those sound good. So, uh, and I, I've been using Marshall Major headphones, dinner, different iterations of them for a while now. And my old ones were just old and kind of wearing down. I've been using them for three or four years, so they weren't in the best of shape anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I need a new pair too, so. Sounds like something I would need. Yeah, if you, I mean, you like me, like a lot of classic rock and heavy metal, and the the guitars sound so fucking clean on it. It's really, really impressive. Obviously, you can only do so much. So if you're gonna listen to obscure ass black metal, which I like, me, I know you like to do. It's oh, lo-fi yeah. as shit. Obviously, you can only do so much with that. Really pick up that lo-fi sound. Yeah, that that shitty sounds like it was recorded in a tin can sound. Yeah, like Mayhem's first demo. Ah, oh, that thing's unlistenable. <laughs> All sound quality so great. Black metal fanboys swear by it. I love black metal, but the the, the uh, fan base can be for it can be fucking annoying. And just the biggest cringy, the cringiest people on earth. You know? Kind of yeah, it's kind of pretentious at a certain point. Yeah, he's still over there. So um, I also got a clock. It's just like a looks like a wolf, and it's like a wall clock from my grandmother. I put that on the on the wall in the office, so that's pretty nice. Oh yeah. I got one hundred and fifty dollars, and I got uh, the Icewind Dale and Planescape Torment remasters for the. Uh, PlayStation 4. Those were primarily... uh, Those were designed from the ground up originally for PC, so I'm really curious about how they control on a console. Yeah. That's one of the reasons that I wanted to play that, and they're just good games. That old school RP, that old school computer RPG kind of thing. I like it. Oh yeah, I do, I do too. Uh, 
Oh. Fuck. Okay. Ouch. That guy that guy just blew me to shit. 